Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today we will be discussing a question on probability and expectation. It's a rather interesting problem. Keep watching till the end to get another variation of it. Let's see the problem. You have the option to throw an unbiased dice up to 3 times. You learn the face value of the dice. You have the option to stop after each throw and walk away with the money earned. The earnings are not additive. Meaning that you only get the earning of the last dice. Like if you did 3 throws, then in each throws you got 3, 6 and 2 in respectively 1st, 2nd and 3rd. You will only get the final money earned and not 6 or 3. Okay? How do you maximize the expected pay of, the, of this game? If you would like to give this problem a try, then pause the video, else continue watching for the solution. So how do we solve it? First, let's find the expected value for one throw. What is it? So what is the expected value? Where x is a dice throw event, sigma pi xi, right? Where xi is the value and pi is the probability. In this case, it will be summation from y equals to 1 to 6, right? Probability in each case is 1 by 6 for dice throw and values are from 1 to 6, which would be 6 into 6 plus 1 by 2 for summation of 1 to 6 divided by 6. This would be equal to 3 by 3.5, right? Now we know the expected value for one throw. Now let's say we have thrown the dice once. So first throw, we can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Suppose we get 3, how should we decide whether we should accept this value or throw dice another time, right? We can use this expected value to decide for it. Since we know in one throw, the expected value is 3.5. So if I get a value less than that, then I should not be settling for it. There are chances, higher chances that I can get a value greater than it, right? Since the expected value is 3.5. Now, so if I get 1, 2 or 3, I should go for a second toss or second throw. If 4, 5, 6, then I should accept since in, in the next throw, the expected value is less than it. So there are two sets, 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6. So what is the probability for each set? Half for this and half for this. We just divide into two equal sets. In this case, I would be throwing for the second time. And what is the value that I would be getting? Expected value 3.5, right? We have already computed here, only one throw remains. In this case, I would just accept this value, right? And what is the expected value here? I've already divided into uh, one set. It's a half is here. So I just need to take the expected value of this. So this each will occur with equal probability and then summation, right? The half is already here. So this would be equal to 15 by 3, 5, okay? So what is the expected payoff? half into 3.5 plus half into 5 which is equal to 4.25 so this was for 2 dice throws right now I need to find it for 3 dice throws so now how do we decide on the first throw ok uh, let me clear it a bit so we can decide in a similar fashion to this like so in case of three dices first throw now two throws remain right we know what is the expected value in two throws it's 4.25 so if i get a value less than this i should not accept it and i should go for two throws right so which are the values one two three and four so let me just change the pen color And here it will be 5 and 6. Probability of this is 2 by 3 for this set and for this it's 1 by 3. 
now i am going for my to throws next right so what is the expected value of this 4.25 here what is the expected value half is uh, 1 by 3 is already taken here and this is the independent set half here and 5 plus 6 right this would be 5.5 so what is my expected value 3 into 4.25 plus half into 5.5 this is somewhere, uh, this is 8.5 plus 5.5 divided by, sorry, this will be 1 by 3, 3, which is equal to 14 by 3, 4.67 approximately. Okay, since we have to maximize the expected payoff, that is why taking this decisions was important here and here. Okay. If you like this solution then do leave a like subscribe your channel if you have any queries then do feel free to drop a comment the bonus problem is will this expected value ever cross 5 if yes then what happens in that case if no can you prove it So we would be increasing the number of dice throws, let's say n. So will it ever cross 5? Let me know the answer in the comments below. Thank you.